Hi. Uh, well, this all came out of, uh, we used to get together for dinners, masters of our dinners, a bunch of us would get together and insult each other and tell dirty jokes. <laughs> <laughs> and Dick Harris came up with this genius idea of getting us all to work, basically for nothing. <laughs> and we stupidly said, yeah, so up we go to Vancouver and we shoot these one hour episodes. They were a lot of fun to me. We still haven't gotten any money for it. I can't understand it. Everybody's rich but me. Everybody. Uh, everybody's good. Everybody who works on it is good. Hi. Um, How are you doing? Love you, you're awesome. um, <laughs> who has been your most, your favorite actor or actress that you most enjoyed working with? And was it about um, their uh, abilities as an actor or a person? Well, they, I love uh, a bunch of different actors uh, that usually when they make my job easy, I really like them. Kurt Russell, Sam Neill, Jeff Bridges, they came, they all came with it. They all were ready to go every day. They knew exactly how to play their parts. They were incredibly talented. I just worked with a really talented actress, Amber Heard, who's a young actress, really, really talented. So, uh, I, I suppose those would be my favorites. You're welcome. Hey. Hello, thank you so much for coming out. Uh, Absolutely. Great event, I hope you're enjoying the show. In uh, 2005, I thought your episode of Masters of Horror was fantastic. It was probably the best horror um, show, movie made that year. I'm very much looking forward to the board. My question is, I love, I'm a storyteller myself, I love how each movie you change up and jump to a different genre or a different show, it's a subgenre. Uh -huh. like you didn't just stick with slashers after, after Halloween. You jumped to ghost stories, killer cars, all the way up to cosmic horror. And speaking of cosmic horror, In the Mouth of Madness and both your masters of horror, it seems to be the only subgenre that you've kind of revisited. Um, is do you consciously try to skip from genre to genre or subgenre to subgenre with each project? And also, what is your biggest horror influence? Uh, well, my movie influences, horror and otherwise, are all from the 1950s when I grew up as a kid. I think you fall in love with movies and music and everything when you're really young. And those those movies and those, those pieces of music that you hear on the radio are really powerful and they stay with you the rest of your life. That's where my influence came from. Uh, in terms of jumping, I, I just look for good stories. That's the essence of movies, is a good story. But as a director's just a storyteller. So I look for something hopefully different to do. Something I haven't done before, try something new. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes I fail at it, but I like to keep trying to do things. Do you have a favorite subgenre? Yeah. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Women in prison movies. <laughs>